Okay, so the quick catch system here. So um, there was someone who wanted to see this arm and uh, how it was put in. So it's just basically the old hinge mount, but I repurposed it so that it would be, you know, exactly 90 degrees to the steering column. And it's only got two bolts holes in it. So I'm pretty sure most farmers can come up with 90 degrees. Like you can measure it, uh, you know, two holes need to be drilled. We're, we're, we're talking fairly easy here. I've got a uh, quick connector for the electrical. So when you get on the tractor, you plug it in and screw it in, you're good. And then of course, you know, since I've uh, come up with quick catch, it's got to have a, an issue on my tractor. So in order to decouple the gears, I got to push it in, but then it barely gives me any clearance uh, to actually pull it out. So I end up having to pull the gear off and then just pulling it out, but very minor. It's not like you're switching this every single day to a different tractor. It's probably seasonal, right? So, not a big deal. I've come up with a finger guard. So if you've got a, you know, uh, an issue with getting your fingers bound up in gears or you think it's a danger or something, you actually got to dig at them now. Uh, you won't be getting near where they actually interface. And um, it's kind of an ugly green, kind of like the gears, but I got black TPU coming. Uh, I made it out of TPU, it just, it, you know, it's softer. Uh, it's easier to work with. So all I got to do is just pull it out because it's got studs that fit in these um, uh, These two holes that are already in the quick touch So to get this thing out the first thing I got to do is I'll just use my knees as another hand um, On mine, I got to pull this gear off Unfortunately, if I had the clearance, I wouldn't have to do that then it's got this speed nut, which I've got mostly undone because again, I, ne I need two hands to do this. And then um, you push the pin out, which is just a bolt. And once you got that pulled out, grab the motor very carefully. And there we go. You're not tied to uh, one tractor. And of course the electrical's got a jam on me stuff you're not paying attention to when you're filming. Okay, so there we go, the motor's out, and all you gotta do to shove it back in is just shove it back into the uh, dovetails and it's in the exact same spot it was, and, and off you go again. So the STLs have been uploaded to G-Drive. I don't think I will be doing any changes to the quick touch um, for about a good year to really get some hours on it. Uh, I got some basic instructions I've been working on, uh, you know, just kind of printer settings, guidelines, you know, parts list, that kind of deal. Uh, I already stuck this unit uh, as like a steering wheel motor in my friend's old Steiger, and it worked pretty good, except I learned that the Steiger steering wheel isn't round, it's actually an oval. So I kind of think that's bull crap. So I think we're going to go to steering gears at any rate. I really like steering gears. I'm still going to like keep working on the ultimate TPU steering wheel um, tire. I've made one tire so far and yeah, I don't really think it's worth uh, trying. I still got to, uh, you know, try a few more designs out, but steer gears are where it's at. You know, no slippage. The motor stays really cold. Uh, yeah, use steer gears.